Hello guys and welcome to the LFC cast in association with LFConline.com. My name is Dan and I'm here with the one and only Greg. Hello guys. Hiya. Um, so this is our post-match discussion for the Liverpool versus Ludogrets game. We were away to Ludogrets and the final score was 2-2. Now before we continue, Greg, you're going to read out some scores, aren't you, from the YouTube and see who got closest. I am indeed, Dan. Okay, so no one was that confident, to be honest, which the yeah. uh, right to lack that confidence. Yeah. Um, Pato, 1997, thought it would be 2-1 to Liverpool. Uh, Nelson Mandela, he wasn't confident either. He thought 2-1 to Ludogrets, yeah. but he was hoping Liverpool would win. Um, what else have we got here, Dan? We've got Andrew Kopok, who said 3-1 to Liverpool. Right. And we also had Farid Ibrahim Idrisu which said 2-1 to Liverpool. So the nearest one out of all of them was actually Chaos Do 13-99, okay. who said a one-all draw. Well, yeah, closest he, he got the score. Not the score right, but the, the end game right, which was 1-1 one, one, or 2-2, two, two, which is a draw. So, Greg, how do you feel about the game? Uh, it was terrible again, wasn't it, Dan? You know, <laughs> yeah. It was just awful. I don't know what's going on. We're giving away the ball too easy. Yeah. We're slow to to react. Uh, yeah. We're not winning the second ball. Um, there's too much passing back for me. We used to get the ball and just attack them. and yeah. You can I'm... see a break ready to happen, and then we just pass the ball backwards. Yeah, but there's no fluidity in the game. There's no style. Uh, I was watching the game on my laptop, and my missus was watching Geordie Shaw, right? <laughs> and it was so boring, the game. It was so much like pulling teeth that I ended up watching most of Geordie Shaw. <laughs> that's how bad the game yeah, was that's a sign of bad times that isn't it I just was watching it and found my eyes glancing up every two minutes at Jordy Shaw because I thought what's going on yeah, but... I had a couple of couple of looks on my phone at uh, Amazon Black Black Friday Dan just <laughs> <laughs> past the time yeah so I mean it wasn't great there was nothing really happened Greg I mean I'm really glad that Lambert got a goal and Henderson back in the team he looked yeah. pretty good Um but again, defensive errors. We we look like a Sunday league team. And one of the biggest things that I didn't like, Greg, I'm not sure if you'll agree or not, is that we seem to just be desperate to get that 2-1 win and we panicked. And we like yeah. we put Moreno on for Sterling to try and hold a 2-1 win. I think that was ridiculous. It's just a stupid tactical decision and I'm not happy with Brendan Rodgers' decisions. No, because all the time they looked like they could score again, yeah. Luda Gretz, which they did in the end, and then we took Sterling off, you know, which, it yeah. just doesn't make sense to me. We needed to get a goal, we needed to get run away with it, and bringing Sterling off, who was making the runs, is just a stupid idea for me. How yeah. Johnson gets a game, even if how Johnson gets a game of footy is beyond me at the moment, because he's shite. Yeah, he uh, is. And, sorry. and I know we said it in Crystal Palace, but as soon as they got the ball off us... yeah. So we had no shape. There's massive, massive gap in the middle of the pitch, yeah. and they were just running into it. And no one, it looked well. It looked to me like no one knew where they should be. No, I completely agree. And we've got to talk about the equalising goal to make it two-two. Again, it's a set piece. Set piece. We had enough players in the defence. I don't see how that goal should have went in. No, I know. And also the the flick from the corner. Mm. That guy who put the flick on, he just bullied his way in front of the players and. Got there first, you know, we didn't look like we wanted to win that ball first. Yeah. And, and the I, guy who scored, he was just like, just by himself in between defenders, you know, he had all the yeah. time in the world. He had five defenders around him and still managed to get a header on goal. It's disgusting. So, 2-2, two, two, it is Greg. Now, if we look at the Champions League group stages, we are on four points, with Ludogretz on four points and Basel on six points. Let's not even talk about Real Madrid, they ran away with it. Yeah. Um, so, that means now... We've got Basel at home next week, is it? Um, and we have to win that game. we just got to win it and we're through. Now, that's not an easy task, but we've just got to go all out, haven't we? Yeah. And again, I'm not that confident that we'll go, we'll no. win that game, you know? But No. We've lost our flair, mate. We've lost Suarez. We, we've lost Sturridge, who's a massive blow. And where did all these players we bought in the, in the summer, Greg? I know. Mega money spent. Where are they? Yeah, Chan, Markovic. Yeah, Moreno know. was on the bench. These yeah. are all big team players, and you're still seeing Johnsons, Gerrards. I was glad Lucas got put back in, you know, because yeah. he does the dirty stuff, and, and people always slate Lucas, but that's what his job is, to 
to hit them defenders hard. And if he has to take a yellow, he'll take a yellow. So I was glad he was back in. Yeah, but definitely. I wasn't that impressed with Gerard, even in no, the 10 rule. I know, and I wanted to see him there, you know, I wanted to see him pushed up front. And I did. There's been a few debates on our YouTube channel and that about Gerard, but yeah, he, he didn't do much up there either. He did a couple of nice little flicks here and there, but. Yeah. Maybe we just have to accept, Greg, that it might just be he's getting old now. And he's, yeah. he's not the player that he was in any position anymore. That's it. That's the he shame. should be playing all these games, to be honest. You know, I think yeah. he would benefit from a rest now and again. No, you're right. He shouldn't have played. I, I would have put him on the bench tonight. And yeah. then he would have been fresh for the weekend. Or at least put him on the bench for the weekend's game now. Uh, okay, so another hard question here, Greg. But who was your man of the match? Yeah, very hard yet again. I didn't give one last time, so I'll try and give one tonight. Uh, you just said a minute ago about Lucas. I thought Lucas did well. He does does yeah. a job that sort of some people don't notice, you know, but he, mm. he works hard. He um, I thought Sterling really grew into the game. Yeah, uh, He didn't start off too well. There's a few loose passes, but he got better and better as the game went on. Yeah, I thought Lambert did all right as well. You know, he won, did, some, yeah. he won some headers. He brought the ball down, did well. But I think Sterling was our biggest threat, so I'm going to give it to Sterling gonna give it to Sterling. Yeah. Now I asked the question, Greg, to you who the man of the match was, and I was dreading that question even though I asked it. <laughs> it's so hard, isn't it? It's really hard to think of someone who's man of the match. Maybe Lucas had a good game, you know, he, he was solid. Um Henderson, I thought played pretty well. Yeah. Sterling wasn't great in the first half. He seemed to waste a few shots shots and yeah, make a few did. bad the runs. The first twenty minutes or so, yeah. yeah. But Towards the end of the game, like you said, he made some good runs, created some good chances, and Lambert should have put one away from a from a Sterling run. So I'm going to give it to Sterling as well. We'll both give Sterling on this one because I can't think of anyone else who really deserves it. Lambert being the the only other one who will probably give it to. Do you know? Just I just thought then, Mignolet, how bad was he? Oh, I don't even want to talk about Mignolet. He is not a Liverpool FC keeper. He, he's just not good enough. Rainer should still be there in my. In my opinion, Dan. I always, I've always thought that we should have kept Rainer as a first yeah. team. You know, Mignolet was not an improvement on Rainer, so I don't understand why he did it. Uh, maybe he gambled and it just didn't pay off. Okay, yeah. we'll leave it there. Two two guys. We didn't lose. I suppose we've got a point, and if we beat Basel or Basel, however you say it, uh, we're through. So Basel, Basel. Do you know what? <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny. Is that um, we were saying this? If we beat Basel, we're through. What are we through to? Getting spanked by Bayern Munich, seven nil or something. I know. <laughs> I, I wouldn't mind being in the Europa League this this season, mate. At least get a chance at a trophy. Yeah, we need oh, well. storage back, don't we? But we need storage back. Okay then, guys. Thanks for listening, and uh, we'll see you soon. And don't forget, by the way, if you're still listening, guys. I mean, not not a lot of people listen all the way through, especially with our board and drivel. But if you're still <laughs> listening, if you're still listening, then also in the link below is a link to our competition that we got going—a retro competition. Guess the uh, guess your favorite Liverpool legend, or just tell us your favorite Liverpool legend, and subscribe to the channel, and you could have a chance of winning a shirt. And that's next Monday. Is that finished, Greg? That competition? Yeah, next Monday, Dan. Yeah. Okay, so also, guys, you know, have a look at that as well. So thank you for listening, guys. You'll never walk alone.